Hello and welcome. We are making corner pop-up cards. Look how cute this is. This is the new little um, day at the farm paper. And do you see how even the cows and the trees are popped up? And it looks like uh, a book binding card that we've done a million times. And it's just a little something different. It's a little pop-up. How cute is that? that? Is cute. So hello, welcome. I just realized I forgot to put a reminder up on my Facebook page. So we're just glad you're here. We're glad you found us. We so, but first... We have mail. other things. Oh. We have lots to cover today. <laughs> so, so buckle in. We're going to be here a while. This adorable Elfie set from last week is going to Gina Lemmick. Gina, just shoot me your um, address and we will put that on. I'll do that in a minute. And the new, we're going to do one more week of Christmas stamp sets because, you know, um, hopefully you have your times ready now. We're doing this Peaceful Noel, which is a two-step stamp or three-step oh, Two no, or three four. steps. I don't know how many steps, but it's a lovely set. So wonderful. And yes, I'm using some of the new papers today. So that is pretty fun. Now, we were gone last week. And so we have extra mail today. So, so subtle in. Where so we have two weeks of mail. Oh, um, oh it's right here. But because okay. I'll come to that. Okay. So never mind. And we love this part of the show. So I just think it's just very fun. So we will uh, put, put this down. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. It's snowing here. It's very cold. Um, it's but not, we're nice and cozy and crafty inside. Cold. It's relative. It will It'll get much get colder. colder. Yes. Dorothy Cody from Michigan. And this is one of the card kits. Is this just cute, you guys? What a cute card. And this um, is easy to make from card kits. And it opens like this. You put your message inside. So isn't that cool? And what does that say? And... Um, I enjoy you very much. I love you. Very, I don't know what envoy means, but it, um, thank you very much. Something very much. I got that part. Karen took French in high school. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that was just, you know, a, a bit of time ago. <laughs> Cheryl Sacco from Minnesota. Oh, we're getting Thanksgiving cards. How lovely is this? Love this pumpkin. And I love how this is just stamped on pumpkin pie paper. Very and nice. then cut out these pieces. Yep. Love the accent to the little leaf, the falling leaves. That is wonderful from Cheryl. Oh, you guys, that is amazing. She's thanking me for a birthday card too. So thank you. Oh, and she's on my team and um, uh, under one of my others. So she's just telling me that. That is so fun. Love that. What a gorgeous card. I love, you know, I go back, come back and read all the notes. Now we're going to come to one that Tim did, did come show me because it was it's just a stitch. You're going to have to wait for that one. And one of these days, I'm going to start reading cards. I'm going to have to have Tim bring me if there's a long letter, just so I know. And this is from my mom, from Denise Myers, um, which is very, from Sue Myers. So I can't even read here. <laughs> there was no Denise on there, you guys. It was an S. No, S. Myers. <laughs> and I don't know. How... There is an S in Denise. But look how pretty this is with all the leaves is. floating down and the little <laughs> things in the middle. That's gorgeous. And barbed wire. Yes, is that like it would be like fencing, but I, I don't know. know. But that's what it looks like to me. I know. Like and then a trellis. That's that in our. Uh, no, okay. no, but it's cool, isn't it? It kind yeah. of fits with the farm and with the trellis. That is gorgeous. That is wonderful. Ah, oh, and a nice little letter from my mom. So that's so fun to have something to take into her to read. Wanda Cavanaugh from Michigan. Oh, how pretty is this? Oh, I love this, and this is a, uh, and how fun this is. This is not a Stampin' Up thing. Um, and you know, and you guys, it doesn't need to be. I sometimes point that out because people say, what page is that on? But I just want to point out this layout because you could do similar things if you don't have this. I love how she's got that layout, the black strip down and her accent piece there. Yep. And that is adorable. That is just really cute. Very uh, folk art looking. It is. Just with uh, plain colors. I love that. Thank you. That is wonderful. Carol Yeemans from Kansas. Oh, this is so fun that we get cards from all over. This? Yep, I did show the inside. Yep. And this one, another pumpkin. And now this one is colored. This was stamped on, I'm trying to see, on uh, white paper and then just sponged over. So she's got all the mix of colors from there. Oh, who is it? Did I say who this was from? Oh, Carol Yemens. Yes. Um, so how cool is that? And the thankful, this beautiful autumn paper that goes with that. Very nice. Beautiful card. Uh, and I know a lot of you guys, um, 
do screenshots when you see cards that you want to keep for ideas because ideas are just so fun to have. I love that we'll never run out of ideas. Darlene O'Meara from Michigan, it looks like. Oh, and this is really pretty. This is a strip card. You know what's really cool about strip cards like this? You can use any size. People are always asking, now what size was that? But the thing that's fun about it, you'll see strip cards made with all different sizes of strips and they all end up looking differently. What an easy way to make your cards, you know, to get on a roll, make them similar and yet different. So I think that's really pretty with the three and then the thank you across. That's just very fun. And she's thanking me for a birthday card. We send out a couple hundred birthday cards a month. <laughs> So we are busy. Oh, this is really fun. Margaret Springer from Michigan. Oh, we're on a Michigan roll here today. There's a bunch of you from Michigan on oh, this cute little Thanksgiving. How cute is this? I hope that. Do you see how these are made like this? Isn't that cool, Tim? It's like that. It is. And then folded back so it makes it a lovely window for the turkey. It is. I think that is really cool. All right. So I'm wondering what people are doing for Thanksgiving. We're actually going out of town. So put in if you're hosting or traveling or you just got invited somewhere, I think it's all cool. Or if you're going to enjoy your time alone. I personally never mind spending holidays alone because I'm always happy to stay off the road and celebrate another time. We're going all the way to Wisconsin. We're going down by La Crosse or Baroqua. We rented a house for all of our kids and our family. So our Chicago people, so we're kind of meeting halfway. So it'll be a different experience. We've never done that. And the agreement was we would get the place they would handle all the food <laughs> and all the scheduling. So I think that's a really good deal. So we're looking forward to that. <laughs> this is really pretty. Look at this. Happy Thanksgiving. And so this is like a wa little watermark inside when you do something really light that you could even write on top of it. Yep. And I love how she's just got all these pieces. We've got some gold metallic. We have all these fun pieces, which is really cool. Yeah, if any of you live down by La Crosse, let us know. I said, that's just kind of fun. Ooh, we're actually going a day early because we have to go out of town for a funeral, two funerals this month, which is kind of amazing. And it's just not worth coming all the way home again. So we are going to have um, some time in La Crosse or somewhere. Did you announced Faith's name. Mm -hmm. Yep, I think I did. Faith Shimiluski from Wyoming. I might not have. I might not have. So thank you, Tim. I'm <laughs> well, so thought, glad. Yeah. Thank you, Faith. <laughs> I love it. Okay. <laughs> Well, that is wonderful. Oh, he has to stay on top of me here. Oh, and now we can go back and read all this. A whole bunch of you have plans. I said, oh, that's so fun. And I love to come back and see that. Um, Anita Gobin sent me a little gift. She had ordered something from me, and then she sent this little scrubby. How, how fun is this? So it's crocheted and has all those scrubby things in it. Yep. It's, well, that's actually mine. It, well, it's actually for Tim. Yeah. I, I but she all. sent it to me. I know. And Tim says, oh, he opened it and he did show it to me. He says, well, Karen, you know, this gift is really for me because I don't do anything because in the I kitchen. Do but Tim totally thanks you. <laughs> yes, I do. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love hearing all the comments. And feel free to comment on each other's about what you're doing, which is all wonderful, too. Linda Stringham from Arizona. And... Um, Oh, how cute. Oh, how cute is that? Look how she has combined the <laughs> cute little Scotty dog punch and the candy canes. I'm looking at that and I'm just suddenly seeing the candy canes as sleds too for putting uh, anything on the sled. But are those just cute with, with the uh, Scotty dog and then these giant, I mean, how fun. It's very cute. Candy canes. What a cute idea. A whole bunch of you are hosting and a whole bunch of you are going out. Some of you are traveling. Like Barbara's saying, it's her first year. She doesn't have to do all the cooking. That's pretty awesome. Tim loves to um, help out in the kitchen but not be in charge when this it's a big thing. To Tim Titus. Oh, so it's you, Tim. And it's. And I just good. wanted to say I love, um, I love just being in the other room and having a glass of wine or something and listening to all the chatter in the kitchen. How bad is that? So we're a good team. Oh, this is great. Ethel, a Veterans Day card. Ethel is from... Um, Tennessee. Tennessee. Thank you. Ethel. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, what a great idea. Thank you for your service. That is I beautiful. love this card. The I circle know. and the heart flag. That's a beautiful that is very veterans good. Thank card. Thank you. That is that's I do appreciate fabulous. That. Yes, he does appreciate we were it. in Indianapolis for a veterans day. And we did not go out and enjoy a free meal like we I usually know. do because we're in downtown Indy. We couldn't figure out places. We were a little busy. So he said that part of our um, it was different, but we're just glad people I couldn't even find a Starbucks for a free cup of coffee. 
Yeah, he couldn't. So I said, okay, uh, Chris Palmer. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love this. Well, I, guess, I guess you can see it. Uh, the Z Fold card. And look, now this card right here, the stamp set, Tim, that's the giveaway. Look at how pretty this would be done this way. This one isn't pine cones, but. Um, <laughs> But I just love something like that. Do you see how you can make a mix mm -hmm. of things like that? You could do it all with stamps. Mm -hmm. Love it. Beautiful card. And then we have, um, and this is, I think, De oh, Deb Anderson from Minnesota. Oh, Deb, I know you. I haven't seen you in ages, so it's nice to hear from you. And what a lovely card. Okay, and tell you what, what really strikes me about this card, this is designer series paper. Mm. And this is designer series paper. And I think this was part of a Memories and More pack or, or it could have been paper. But what this makes me think of is how you can take a light designer series paper and a darker one and stamp on the light. I just love that whole arrangement. Mm. And I love the triangle put there. What a fun, easy layout. So that is really cool. Becky says her daughters do the cooking. She has to stay out of the kitchen. I love it. <laughs> well, that's just about true with me. I have to, what I have to do is wash all the ditches. Yeah, he ends up, yeah, he ends up doing a lot of that and just doing the clean up the fetching, um, <laughs> which is great. But Gina says her husband fills in now that her back hurts. We really fill in and do what we need, don't we? Arlene, um, I have to think of your last name because I know you're from Illinois. Tolzma. I don't know if I'm saying your last name right. Oh, this is the hilarious this one. This is it. Okay, she lives. She is from, <laughs> well, now she's in Iowa, but this is yes. the funniest thing she said. So this is what Tim had to show me. She says, love your videos, watch it. We found this in the Worthington Daily Globe. So she must have been going through old newspapers. You know she how some people be. save them? This is a stitch, you guys. This was our, us. This was our wedding announcement. <laughs> In 1974. <laughs> Isn't that an early mm -hmm. 70s babe, picture? <laughs> that is just so hilarious. That was down in Jackson, Minnesota, and it was in the Worthington paper. So some of you might be in there. That is just hilarious. Jody, I am so glad you're on here. Yes, because I know you won the, the stamp set last time. Just message me on Facebook or Email me or just ask me again on here and I'll come back and tell you where to do it. Um, Can you read the, um, re read the announcement? Well, it's just Karen Johnson and Timothy Titus were married. Da, 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 and it's just on and on. But I think that is so. Um, the bridal couple will make their home in Minneapolis. This is such old time. We're both our students at the University of Minnesota and they're employed at Dakota's Children, a home for special needs children. That's what we were both working there. And all the parents gave us a fabulous wedding gift. But just how fun that is. So and that's when we first got married. We got gifts from my professors at the university. Yes, we did. We did because Tim was trying so hard. He was in a special program at the U. Special program. Well, he was for I was, yeah. yes, for those that weren't ready for college. Well, you know, he couldn't read, so you know our story. Well, he tried so hard and I'd work with him at night. So his professors just loved working with him because he was really trying. And most people in the program weren't. <laughs> and we got wedding gifts from them at the university. I mean, we're not talking, you know, yeah, I mean, it's pretty funny, but how lovely. I love your card too. That is a stitch. What a throwback thing. One of, how fun is that? I was one of 50,000 <laughs> students. <laughs> so anyway, very fun. Kim Dorsey in Wisconsin. Ah, and Kim, we met a while ago. Oh, look, confetti. She's a confetti queen. <laughs> and here is the, I just love these side easel cards. We did this a few weeks ago, and I love her version. Look at the fun autumn thing. And look how fun the, the words. You're never more than a thought away. And then more words down here. Thankful and blessed. What a fun way to have a card to put on display. Oh, hold the picture closer. Do you still have the picture of us, Tim? Somebody wanted to see it closer. Mm -hmm. He'll, he'll, he'll find it again. I think this is just hilarious. This is us back in the day. And believe it or not, Tim got a haircut truly before that. <laughs> I just think that is so hilarious. Okay. I have been, I have been compared to the planet of the apes. <laughs> and it's funny because I was really... I was really a flower child. I was very much yes. that. Tim was not, but he certainly looks I like, sure look like he it. certainly looks the part. <laughs> so anyway, we had just. 
<laughs> so fun memories. So that was after being in the army for two years and having to cut my hair. I came home to let it grow. Our, our kids do look at pictures from that day and they'll say, are you guys really telling us you weren't using drugs? <laughs> and we were never into drugs. But our pictures made us look like it, I think. So pretty funny. Liz Phelps from Kentucky. Oh, this is so much fun. Look at the fun paper and the wreath oh, and the little leaves. Pretty. What a pretty, pretty card. That is lovely. And there's definitely a card in here. I love how she's done this stitched whimsy inside too and added a leaf. What a fun way oh, to do it inside. Nice. And I will come back and look at that. And she's she's thanking us for this um, caring group of stampers that send out cards. That's what I read so far. And I will do a shout out to that because I agree. I absolutely love it. Um, Janet said that picture was hilarious. She's watching from her living room on her big screen TV. Ah, <laughs> oh, that is pretty funny. That's scary. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Okay. And then we have... We have, oh, this is from, or this is Tim. This is for Tim. All and right. this is from Ruth Franks. So that's your card to show. All right. Oh, second. Okay. That's the North Shore, North Shore, Shore of Lake Split Superior. Rocks Lighthouse. Oh, and you used to have a sailboat. What I a did. perfect card. Love that. And what a great masking kind of card too. And we did used to have, um, we, we did used to have a sailboat. So that's we really did. pretty fun. So, Thank you. Very, very, very much. cool. Oh, and here's one for same from her. Is this Ruth McFranks again? Yes, from me. Oh, how fun is that? You're the best ever. Oh, that is just lovely. That was look at how card. pretty that is. The cut out, and I love the layout here and the circle. Time right there. Gorgeous card. That is beautiful. Best of stream. Uh, sending bright wishes for a happy day. Just a fun, just a fun card. This is, you know, all the stamp sets in the main catalog are on sale right now through, I guess it's tomorrow, I think. That's right, 15% off, but isn't that pretty? I love that. And then we have, um, this is Diane Rivers. Oh, look at this spooky. Oh, is this fun? I love the Aspen Tree dies have just been favorites. Look at how spooky that looks with black on the dark paper. We got that quite close to Halloween because yeah. we, haven't, we haven't shown well, dark for, for a couple, a couple weeks. Recently. So. But I love the effect of that, Tim. Yep. Just look at that. The darkness and then yep. that bright purple. It is very spooky. Oh, that is really, really cool. <laughs> Even a black um, star. Lynn's just saying Tim has a ha, has a great head of hair. Yeah, you can see now, you know, now that it's white, but yeah. he still doesn't get rid of it. So he's I always, mean, I think I maybe the lesson here is he's always been proud of his hair. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just pretty funny. And the last one is from Virginia and Faye, from Faye Cunningham. Oh, and how pretty is this? Now, I just love looking at layouts. So look at how she's got patterned paper, another strip, and then uh, a scallop square at an angle. Very Isn't nice. that a nice, effective layout? So how fun are these? That so is hilarious. When you said Virginia and Faye, I thought it was from oh, two different women. From the state of Virginia. Virginia. So how fun is that? Thank you, Faye. Okay, I have a couple of things to announce here. Well, number one, you know, you get, if you place a minimum $50 order for me this month, you get a card kit with three cards, and it's the fitting florets, and this is one of the cards that you get to make. And then you get a card that's just finished. And I added something during the sale. And the reason I added it was because so a bunch of you had already ordered. And I thought, if you ordered again, I wanted to give you something. So you get a double thing when you order. So if you've already ordered, you, you also get this. And I wanted to do something that was a little preview as well. So look at this. It's mm. the farm paper. Now, if I run out of these embellishments, you'll get something else. But the packaging is the same. We have two ways of packaging a belly band or ribbon. And is this paper absolutely adorable? It is. The other reason, so anyway, this is um, a gift for placing an order. So that's just my little extra. You actually get both if it's your first order. So if you order for me this month and it's in this four day window, you're getting both of these things. So how cool is that? I also wanted to do this to introduce the December All Good Cards Club. <laughs> I'm moving ahead. I'm going to talk a little bit about um, this month's, but December, it's going to be all about tags. Um, and it's going to be lots of ideas of what to do with tags. And both 
how to make them and then how to turn them into cards. So I wanted to show, see, like here's an idea. Now I have this same tag thing, but let's say I want to use that same idea and turn it into a card. And look how this is just kind of tucked in a little right there. And this is a triple tag. It's got two tags the same, just designer series paper, and then a small tag with the word. So isn't that cool? It's very cool. So this is just one of many ideas that we're going to explore of what you can do with tags. And the reason I wanted to bring this up is just that um, these dies, and you can see a bunch of them are out because I'm using them. These set of dies, the tailored, tailor made tags, they're 20% off through tomorrow. Mm. And you do not need to have these. My first thought is I try to make my classes all, you know, really inclusive of everyone. <laughs> Um, but sometimes for speed, if I'm going to do a whole bunch of ideas, I'm going to use a lot of this. I'll use some other things too, but I will give you the dimensions. So you don't need to have this. You can cut your strips this way and just have a hole punch and you can use a corner rounder. So by no means do you need to own this. The reason I'm bringing it up is you're going to see a lot of cards made with this. So if that piques your interest and you're in the all good cards club, but love to have you join us. You just, we just hang out and have fun and you get all the PDFs and all the ideas. And I'm just excited about these ideas. I also so, wanted to show. Mm -hmm. I just say that if you're pro tag, you can also, you, you, this is really good if you're pro tag or if you're a protagonist like Karen, <laughs> like Karen, then. You know. But I just love the idea. We're going to look at different ways of using tags and then they can both go on, say, a gift or something or other things. So wait and see. Or you can use them as cards. So it doesn't matter if you're a card maker, you're into tags, both. But once you see and have all these ideas of how you can use a tag on your cards, too, it's just another way of looking at card layouts. And I'm going to put this up because I just wanted to show one thing. This is what I do. And I have a couple of these. I want to show you how many tags. I have tags galore in here. And I've got smaller ones back in here. So I like to cut out things and have them on hand. So then when I'm looking for an idea of what I want to do, I can just come here and pull out. I've got lots more tags in here. So I've got all kinds of things in here. But I just thought I'd just show this um, as an idea because I do this with the different shapes, but I consider these tailored tags as like a shape because I use them so often. So I wanted to tell you that now because I didn't want anyone to realize they'd been on sale and then, oh, Karen's going to use those. So that is my little thing. And that is my extra gift. So by the way, the host code is, um, is this N-U-M-H-E-U 42. And you can always find it at KarenTitus.com. And of course, if your order is 150 or more, you don't use this because then you get the host benefits. Um, and then the last thing, do you know when there's the sale on as a demonstrator, we get 20%, we get the 20% off that you guys are getting. But we also get the 20% off at least minimum that we get as a demonstrator. So just know that that's, that really is a perk of doing this. So if you are a demonstrator or even if you want to buy the kit, you can, the kit can go a whole lot further. If there's a bunch of things on that list, you can get them in the kit and make your kit go further. And then you can turn around and get all these at a whole lot less. So just wanted to make sure that's my little announcement. And this is, where did I get the container? Um, it is a, I think it's probably a jewelry. It's on Amazon. Uh, and they had a whole bunch of them. I just picked one. They're just these plastic. I bet you the container store too. I, I think they'd have them all over. Yeah. Um, but I think it's both pretty on the counter, but it's also a nice way I can quickly look and I can see when I'm running low on something because I just love having choices there. So let's say if I take a sentiment that I want to put in some dye, I just... I just bring my stamp over and then I hold up a bunch of different things and see what is going to fit, what's going to work. So it's just my little um, side saving things. So um, the Taylor tag is, um, are useful. And I, I really wanted to say that because I just can't go to so much work of <laughs> doing so many different things when I had this so useful. Now, if you have the punch Stampin' Up! used to sell, they had a tag topper punch, things like that would work. There are a lot of things that would work. I'm just saying some of you want to match exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm trying to say you don't need to. And of course, tomorrow night is our current All Good Cards Club. And I'm making the same thing. This is one. We're making three different sets of boxes of cards. And we're making the cards to go in them too. And there were also, um, so this is one of them. And I'm going to make it tomorrow night with new papers. 
So I thought it's kind of fun because I have this one done. So I'll make another one live as we work and then you get PDFs for all that. It's only $15 a month to join us. We'd love to have you join us. So I think that's good. Tim looks cold. This is just Tim's winter look. <laughs> Our house isn't that warm. <laughs> it isn't. But okay. Are we we're, ready? We're saving energy. Are we ready to create? We are. Let's see. How far into this are we? Um, I don't even know how uh, how long we've been. We've been 25, uh, 25 minutes. minutes. Yes. <laughs> this is longer, you know. <laughs> but but this is so fun. We love you guys. And we love just being able to chat and share lives together with you guys. So we are going to make, I'm going to make three of these and then I'm going to show you seven more. So you're going to want to stay to the end so you see all of them. Now these cards, you remember like the book binding card? So, the, so you could also simplify this. This of course is the weekly challenge over in the back porch stampers now, but you'll recognize this part as, as what we've done before. And what's just kind of fun is the little surprise when you open it. And it will stand up on display. So if you make the inside pretty. And if you can't see it, these are all popped up, which makes, you know, the dairy cows are popped up. Three trees are. It's very, very cool. I'm going to do a shout out to Tina. Tina Rappe. This is a card I got from her that I showed on a Monday night. And I had like five people say, could we do a card like that? That's why we're doing this. So a shout out to her. So how cool is this? So this is the original, and that is just so cute. Okay, I'll put, have you put that over there. So we're going to go ahead and create things. The blog post will be up this evening, and tomorrow the project sheet that you can download will also be up. But you'll find the directions up there already this evening. Tina, she means stinking cute. Yeah, it is. Okay, so our card bases are... Um, if anyone needs help ordering, uh, always call me. I have a lot of people that call me with orders. Um if the computer just isn't working, or you just please don't like the computer, um, always feel free to call me. My number's everywhere, but it's 612-929-1277. And I'm going out this evening, but otherwise I'm home. I'm home all day tomorrow. I'm home all afternoon. I'm actually going to card club tonight, and it's not this kind of card club. It's a 500 card club. <laughs> so With women from it our just church. doesn't kind of fit. It's a group that I've been in for, oh, I don't know, we go back many, many years. So it's just pretty fun. Okay. So base card is a four and a quarter by 11. So we get two of these out of a card. And then I'm going to score at, and you guys know I much prefer. <laughs> what is going on here? This well, doesn't look right. I get a little lost. Okay. I get, I get a little lost here. Because... I'm lost too. It's upside okay. down maybe. Do I, my, I like my scoreboard a whole lot better because I use it. Okay. Let, well, let's see if it magically appears. <laughs> Okay, and then I can pull this out and it'll be, oh, I don't even need to pull it out. Tim, you're a genius. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do you remember when we used to have to film things upside down? Maybe I would have gotten it then. Okay, I'm going to score it. I'm going to explain. I'm going to score it at five and a half, which is the middle because that makes it a regular size card. And then I'm also going to score it on one of the sides at four and a quarter. And what's fun about that is this gives me a nice square to work with. So I can use any size square. You know, I could layer this a few times. You can get way more involved, but it's just nice to have that be a square. And then my favorite adhesive for putting these together is actually the multi-purpose glue because it holds forever. The trick. So do it right the first time. The trick is not to put on too much. I mean, and I can still do that. And then I have glue all over. It's a total mess. I hate it. But I love how secure this makes it. I don't tie a ribbon. I don't need to do anything around it. And this time I decided we'd do something a little different. So we're using the same paper. This is what we did before. And this time. So this is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So this is four by four. And I'm using the flip side of that paper. Aren't they both just cute as could be? So I'm putting my four by four. I'm not going to use that. No, I'm going to do them different. Oh so we see goodness. two side by side just because I can. And then this is the flip side of what I was using on the other. This paper is going to be so popular. And this is one of the free celebration items starting in January with the $50 order. Hmm. Uh, it, it is just so cute. Now, how cute is that? And then I thought I would 
put this cow on. So see, he's on the fields. Now, isn't that fun? And I'm going to let you. This paper is direction. So Yes. So it's, it's the. You don't want the hill. hill it looks like down. the green hills of Kentucky is what it makes me think of. But it could be the green hills of Minnesota, too. I'm going to let you. Have you put that on? Okay. Okay. Wherever you want that cow grazing. And that cow is grazing. And see, thinking happy thoughts of you. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. oh, a bunch of you play 500s, you know what I mean. Yeah, and it's a, it's just kind of a fun social game. We just sort of laugh because it's more about the food and the conversation than it okay? would ever be about the game. Of course, it's your card. Of course, it's okay. And then we're going to put that on. No. <laughs> well, it's Tim's card. I'm not going to make a single comment. It's all good. Oops, it's crooked. Can you pull it up and Straighten it out. Uh, we'll just, okay. Yeah, it's good enough. But how cool. So these could both be left as is without the insides. Just put it, you just put the writing inside. I like one but aren't they I fun? like this one better, but they're both okay. very nice. Now for the inside on this one, I'm using designer series paper. I'm using the same oh, one. Yeah. I like using the basic white, the lighter one, not the thick or designer series paper, just because they're lighter. You can use regular cardstock too. It's just thicker. So just to know that. So Foolish, this is- Foolish me, I thought we were done. <laughs> so this is a, this is an eight inch square. <laughs> oh, show me a glue holder. Yes, this is from Janet Frederick who's on here. In Louisiana, she did this. Look at this. This is a little shot glass. Back at the time she lived in Idaho. She's now in Louisiana. Janet, I might need a new one from, you know, so I can talk about you living in Louisiana now. Because she is a great big And look yeah, at this. Yeah. yeah, no, look at this. So she's got, um, what's that glue gun that using a glue gun, you know, and you melt it. And to see how the cover just stays right in here. This is a perfect a little gift for a crafter for a friend or a stocking stuffer for a crafter. Is that just cool? And then, so I keep replacing this, but the cover just stays in there. Perfect size for a stocking. So how cool is that? And you can get it, you know, if you can do shot glasses, you could do it with the little theme of whatever, your state of whatever. So how fun is that? Gina says she hasn't played 500 in ages. She needed a refresher course. We always laugh because we often, you know, we'll need a sub or something and they might come in and never played, but the way we play... <laughs> we don't care. So nobody minds. <laughs> we're not, we're not very competitive in other words. Okay. So this is eight by eight. What we want to do is fold it in half both ways. So I'm going to score at four inches and then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to score at four inches here. And that'll just give me an easier fold line. And then I'm going to just fold these. And, you know, when you create along with me, I like to tell people to take some paper that you don't care about, and then you just keep this as a, you can write the instructions right on here. You know, I often show you how to do that. I didn't mock one up this time, but you can just do it with paper. You don't care. Write your directions. It's all there and closed and ready. And isn't this side lovely too? It oh, is. That's so fun. But this doesn't really work because the paper twists. So you don't want directional paper in here. Believe me, I figured that out because the first one I tried, I had a directional paper and it didn't work. Then I'm going to score from one corner to the next. And I am going to fold it like that. And the other direct, this other corner to corner too? Nope, no, nope. just that one. And then I'm going to cut out one of the squares. It's a little hard to see right here, but I'm going to cut out one of the squares that has the fold in it. So this is really an easy pattern. Now, if you're making a bunch of these cards, you would sit and do this all at one time, and it goes a whole lot faster. If you're making one of a kind card, it doesn't matter. So how cool is this? And look at this. I did it on the wrong way. Whoa. I don't want that. So we're just going to fold it the other way because we can do that doesn't really matter. Okay, so this is what your card's going to look like, the inside, and you see how it folds up like this. Ooh. So now I am going to put adhesive on one side, and I'm going to open my card, and I'm going to put it in just like that. Okay, and then this is okay. And then 
I'm gonna, Ooh. that's just folded right up. And I'm gonna do this side. And then, and then I just like to close it lightly and make sure, yeah, but otherwise I can, yeah. <laughs> I want it to look a little better than that. So let me, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat a little since I probably have it folded perfectly. I'm gonna put this in, but I'm gonna do it lightly because I wanna make sure it folds up nicely. Oh, it folds up perfectly. How cute is that? And now it's gonna open like this and I'm gonna decorate the inside. So this is what I put in this one, but you can put anything you want in the inside. Um, that is just so fun. And that is... Um, so we're going to leave it there. We're not going to put a bunch of stuff inside. No, just for the sake okay. of time, because you can decorate however. Yep. But I thought, is that cool? Uh, yep, we'll do the fold again. So I'm going to do it three times. Okay. So our next card, and then I'm going to show a bunch. Here's our next one. I love this fitting floor. It's, do you guys do a lot? Of, I think a lot of you probably have this now in this gorgeous paper. These are just fussy cut out. And I thought, is that pretty? And I love the words in this. For a special person on a special day, I put this on the outside because I wanted the flowers to show. And then the big words can go inside. And then you don't have to write a lot. Wishes for a beautiful birthday. Very nice. Isn't that cool? So we'll do this one next. And we're going to just do it the same way. This one, I'll do this one much faster this time. And this time I'm going to go ahead and just score it at four and a quarter. Whoops. <laughs> I don't want to. Whoop, and that popped out. Yeah, she says she tries to do something quick this time, and then it doesn't work, right? And then at five and a half. Fold that up. Add our glue. Actually, for the sake of time, I'm not going to add glue, so I don't have to wait for dry. I'm just going to do this. If you were to cut that instead of scoring it, what would you have done for plan B? Um, just moved on to the next card and say, oh, we're doing two instead of three today. <laughs> Because we're all adaptable. And then I have my four inch. So this is four by four, because this part is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. This is one by four. So really easy measurements. So we'll put these on. Karen really likes to work with an eighth inch, but she <laughs> not. As much as possible, we like to keep things really simple. And then... This one's going to go on. But I didn't get to choose. And I'm not going to put this one on, but you can see I'm going to put dimensionals on this one and then pop that up. So that's the front. So I think that is um, really cute. Okay. While you're um, working on the next, I'll put some dimensionals. And I know some of you are still talking about placing orders. Yeah. You know, call call your demonstrator if you're working with demonstrator. If you're working with me, call me and I'll put your order in. Right. Okay, let, let me work with some dimensionals. I'll get uh, this okay. set up for you. Uh, the good idea. Because I idea. love to... Uh, I can do that too. I love to have a little chat anyway. So sure. it's all good. Okay. So he's going to work on that and I'm going to do the inside. So now I have the basic white, not the thick kind. This is eight by eight. This time I'm going to do it faster. We're going to score it at four inches and at four inches. And from corner to corner. Just get that part in. Okay. So basically what we did, you know, for patterns, if you're using even like copy paper, you can just plain fold it. You don't have to score it and just fold it and have it for your, yeah. And then go ahead and put it on. You're good. Right. So it goes in half this way. It goes in half this way. And then I flip it and it goes in half this way to make triangles. On the instruction sheet, when you go to my blog, I show the pattern and I do scored lines and things. So that might help you see. So now you'll see how this pops in like that. And now we're just going to cut out one of these squares. The one that's been creased. One that, yep. One that has a line through it. And I'm not getting that very straight, but we're going to live with it. I could use a paper cutter for this and just be careful. I would go from the inside out, but I'm just hand cutting it because yeah, it's on the inside. Okay. And now we'll notice that this is going to fold up just like this. Yeah, this is just, I think, a gorgeous card. Uh, this paper, it reminds me of like a hues of happiness. I just can't get enough of it. This is going to be the same. I just think it's just gorgeous paper. I probably should have trimmed a little more there. But 
for the sake of time, we are going to live with it. I'm going to put this in. I'm just going to open this. And because you can see, you can see my, oh, you know what? That's going to bug me, Tim. <laughs> I got to slow down and cut that off. Can, can you guys see that on the thing? I, I needed to, I didn't cut enough off. I was being a little too careful and a little too speedy. A little too speedy is what you <laughs> I think that's. I think that's really the idea. <laughs> then. Because when it comes right down to it, you know, it's got to be perfect. And then this folds up. And then this one. And this one, I'm actually going to just lift up and do this because, you know, if I put it on real lightly, I can renegotiate how it folds. Oh, it's just fine. Oh, how cool is that? And then again, we're just going to decorate the inside. And you put a couple right. of pieces of bling on it. Yep. Yep. The little finishing touch. So I think that is so cool. Okay. We're going to make one more and then I'll show you some more. So that aside. So we have one more. Oh, I just wanted to show you this on the farm set because I missed seeing this look at these and the paper you can see the animals um the dyes that actually work on the paper of so this the larger one this is die cut out so i thought so anyway, that's pretty cool now the next one we're going to do is with seaside bay i'm really excited about this and i was asking people what sets they wanted to see me work with and i know this one ranked really high but we'll just look at that, that. Is it a sandpiper? Yes. I had to ask Tim because I didn't know. But all of you beach lovers, you're going to just love this. I, this is just such a fun. And then the paper has both pearlized and foil pieces in it. It is just stunning. So I'm not going to go into that now. But that's what we're going to use next. And this is the card we're making. I like the style too. And it's got a lovely sympathy thing. Sometimes I need more sympathy. I like the styling. So the, the sympathy in here, I should just show that because heartfelt sympathy. I really like that mm -hmm. styling. It's um, just kind of bold and nice. And these shells, I fussy cut out of some paper. And then we open it and it has this. And it says, you're a pearl, rare, rare and precious. And that's cut out of paper too. And then we're going to talk about doing this. That's a nice so, thing. I like that. Yeah. So for this one, we're going to do the same thing. I think we have it down by now. Um, yes, I put a narrow strip of paper into that pink card. Yep, we can go back. On this pink card, I could have also, doing it later, I would have done maybe what I'm doing here. But I was just, well, I just try to do different things. Um, but I thought, you know, you could write along here, which would be interesting. You can write on the back. If you want someone to have it on display, you can do whatever you want. So this is one little idea of just putting. I like that. This one, we're putting paper on both, you know, so they're both really good ideas. So again, I'm scoring at four and a quarter and five and a half. And putting adhesive just on the back of the narrow strip, because this makes my book binding fold. So that part's done. And then I have two pieces here. Oh, look at this. It's just that foiling. It's just now, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Did you use that glue gun thing? Yeah, I did on the other. On some. Okay. But for the sake of Where time, because that's my, yeah. that is my choice. You know, this is going to, it's just going to be sturdier than this. This might last longer too, but I just find that that multi-purpose glue really holds, but you know, I wait for it to dry and sometimes it gets messy and then it's a little hard to uh, <laughs> keep going on live if I've got sticky fingers. So I'm trying, I still have to learn to use it lightly and I am liking it more and more as I get used to it. So this is my base and Tim, I'm going to let you do the, the covers. Um, but maybe I lost the, Oh, that's interesting. Uh, uh -oh. There's not much to put on the covers, I guess, because it's lost some of its pieces. <laughs> From the other room to here, because it's not all in this room. But I'll let you do that. Track it down? Uh, no, we'll just do the start here. Okay. And then I have my eight by eight. So it's the last time I'm doing this one. If you're doing this with me. Are these popped up? Um, I popped up the middle two and kept popping them up higher. But, you know, it's your card. And you can do whatever you want. We don't even have a middle two. We have a middle one. And we don't have oh, a middle right two. There. What's that? Oh, there's one. Oh, that's for the inside. Okay. Because you see the inside says, you're a pearl rare and precious. And I Ooh. cut the pearl out of this paper. Okay. 
You keep so, talking. I'm going to go along. Tim's going to go to hunt. <laughs> he likes a challenge. So I'm scoring at four and four. So I'm hoping by doing this four times, you'll really remember. And if you've been watching, you might want to do it this third time because it's the last time. And then we're going to do this. And then we're just folding it. So it goes in half. In half the other way, and then flipped over to go that way. And then we're cutting off, cutting out one fourth of it. So one square section that has the fold in it. This is really nice because it gets rid of some of the bulk, too, of the. And we'll get that through. Okay, so this is what your inside will look like. Yeah, January 4th is when customers can buy this. So another thing, if you wanted to buy the kit now, you can buy these. Um, we get to buy all this stuff in December. So I showed some of this. Those of us that went to onstage could do a pre-order. That's what I have now. December 1st, what I'll be think? doing a bunch more. Did you find it? I don't know. What did, it, did I find it? Yes, I think you did. Hey. Well, no, because they're the same color. Well, it um, doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter. It's your card. It. Hey, it's your card. Okay. okay. So I'm here's my inside. Pop these up. Not that. Yes, except I'm going to need that back now because I need to put the inside in. So am I going to... Let's see if we can work together on this card, Tim. Yes. Can we really work can we well work together? Really? Can we? <laughs> That's a true test. Hard to say. Okay, so I'm going to put this one on. And again, I'm going to fold it up. And I'm going to close this up and then pretty soon I'll give it back to you. And then to do the, okay, I didn't get that one on uh -oh. the best. I, I may or may not change it, but uh, if we can flatten it out, we'll probably live with it. it popped okay, if I send this to one of you, you're not going to say, oh, Karen, my inside. <laughs> I popped everything up. I guess you didn't. On that. So. Uh, you, but you can do whatever. So to do this middle part here. It is just another four inch square, just like the other. So I just took this and then we cut it this way. And that is what's going to make that. Now here I like to use the silicone mat so that if this resin, oh, and look at this pearlized part, it's hard to pick which paper to use. I'm gonna put this on. And strip that. Okay, and I'll put a strip there. Thank you. And so if you look at this, I am going to, I would actually suggest doing any of your, word, your words before you put this on. I did that before I put this on. I actually did my words just because it's easier than fitting in here. It'll still work, but just to tell you when you're working on it. But to see how this just fills in the sides. How cool is that? And then I just to put two other strips on the side. Look at that. Love it. And let's see what I did here. Then I just put these in here and I'll add the words later. But I thought, what a fun, you know, these really don't take long at all once you start making them. Okay. So how cool, how cool are that? Don't cover up the pearl eyes. I know it's painful, but sometimes a card just needs it. And I think it's fun because you could do either one on the inside, but I'm going to add the same in here. You're a pearl, rare and precious. I thought, what a nice friendship card. Thank you, card. Okay, so very fun. All right. And then, and then the others, the others are from things that uh, you can get right now. But, you know, I, I know we're just all anxious to see some of the new stuff. So it's a little sneak peek. We cannot get enough. This paper is going away. And this is just the paper. And Tim's going to bring out his little thing, too. Still haven't used it. <laughs> I know. Like, this is so adorable. And this is just cut out of the paper. And it opens. And I've got all the little trolls in there. So I thought this would be a cute one, like, from all of us or from or congrats. I don't know. It's just kind of a fun. But you can just decorate it. And here I did do the paper again. But is that just adorable? And then we have this one. I, I love butterfly kisses. This is like a really bright, um, 
I, the, the colors and the butterfly kisses and then the butterfly wishes, I think it is. You can make all kinds of butterflies, but this is all the love. Oh, and this is so I can take pictures of it. That's my little sticky tape <laughs> for the blog. You're my bestie. And there's a little mm. cutout butterfly there. So isn't that fun? Okay. And then <laughs> what can... weight paper? I just use the lighter and just not the thick. So I don't know what weight it is, but um, just a little later. The thick one is like a card base. And for me, I just think they work a little easier. But try anything. Use what you have. It's kind of the... Do these sayings come from the same place? Yes. All the love and you're my bestie. And they all That's come great. from the same butterfly set. And I thought yep. it's just really cute. Okay. I have loved this. I haven't used this in ages. This is the sunflower dye. Uh, and it's been around a few years and it is Ooh. so stunning. I love it because it makes this great focal point. The stamp set has stamps you can put under it, which are also gorgeous. But I also love how stunning this is just the dye. Is that glued down or not? Yeah. Oh. It's glued down in just a couple of little places because yeah. I like it to be kind of yeah. airy. So I only do it in a little bit of places. And then this is the tray chic um, paper. What's that? I don't know if you get that on the camera, but that is just really yeah, delicate. Cool? You know, it's I, like, I just, it, it's. So this is another die and this cool. does show, you know, these, <laughs> these things are on sale, um, um, but this die does stand alone. I would encourage getting the stamp set because you can do so much more with it. But I also do love it when I did do this as a card kit probably two years ago because the die did stand alone. Um, and that's kind of what I look for when I do my monthly card kits because I don't send out stamped images. I just send out die cuts. But I just think that is gorgeous. And, and I love way, it with the tray chic. The way you know that it stands alone is like gold. <laughs> And these are fun pop-up cards that you don't need to put explanations in. People will get it. <laughs> so this just shows how versatile this is. Tanya says she's just going to make this for her mother-in-law's birthday. Yes. So how fun. Um, so look, this is just a variety of the different stamps. Love this with the bottle punch and the things of happiness. Again, really bold. This reminds me of the butterfly kisses one because it's just very bold. And then sending sunshine and good feelings your way. Just a fun, happy card. And while you're making one for your mother-in-law, make a couple of extras. Okay. Um, I have one more. Oh, I'm missing it. I am missing a card. There's Can a we go look for it? <laughs> that is too funny. There's, I know we have, oh no, it is under here. I, I, I thought I did have, so I did say there were 10 cards and I'm realizing I'm missing. So this is the hand penned paper that comes all black and white. And look how cool this is. Ooh. This is a, like a spotlight card technique where you just color in part of it, pop that up. Oh. So you notice that part is being different. That's the same thing? Yes, it's the same as that. So you have this dramatic wow. part. I love that. And then this is uh, another part. So um, in this paper pack, one side tends to be flowers, um, kind of more white background. And the other, the flip side tends to be the black. But isn't that fun? So wishing you everything wonderful because you totally deserve it. And what I would do is I would just pick out one of these on the inside. Yeah, could and do just that too. Color just one. Well, and that would go with the front. Yeah, because it would yeah. be kind of showing that same kind of technique. Uh, and then this is a retro card, Tim. This is for us because we. Uh, this Ooh. is for Tim. All the tie dye things. I just this is, just looks so retro. I love it. <laughs> happy birthday. Yep. Wishing you everything wonderful. But it's not yeah. fun. It's just a very happy card. And. The, the inside could have said, you old hippie. Yeah, yes, it could. <laughs> I think that's really fun. And then this is the last one. And this is using the Abigail Rose, but this is more of the paper, uh, the free celebration paper coming up. And on this one, I just plain used the paper. I should have re-inked my stamp first because this isn't uh, dark enough. But I wanted to do one like this to just show if you've got light enough cardstock, you can stamp just right over it. That is the difference. That this of all these seems most different because of the colors. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like yeah, kind of fluorescent blue. Yeah, or green. it's totally different. And again, that is free paper coming up. And I think that covers it. So, thanks, you guys. Um, we I got to get back in here. We have a blast doing this. So we thank you for doing this. Tomorrow night is the All Good Cars Club. If you want to join us, let me know. If you want help with ordering, let me know. If you have any other questions, let me know. I I love chatting with you guys. I'm much better at getting phone calls than making phone calls. So just feel free, feel free. And thanks you guys. And we'll see you on Monday night otherwise. And what time is it? Oh and the God, sale we... ends tomorrow. Less than an hour. We did it. Okay. <laughs> Good night. And this will go up now on the back porch stampers. Good and afternoon. you'll share what you make.